Drones. Also known as autonomous aerial vehicles or UAVs. Drones are often used by the military to perform remote airstrikes and surveillance. Because it is remotely controlled, they can fly further and closer to the enemy without endangering the pilot. Since the emergence of drones in the military, the drones have been made available for commercial and leisure use. Drones are often used for surveillance, recreation and even planting trees. With a touch of a button, users are able to easily operate the drones to fly nearly anywhere they wish. With such ease of use, a new problem has risen over the last few years. Drones have been an intrusion to restricted airspaces such as airports. These drones put aircrafts and the passengers in huge danger. How can we detect these drones early and to take action and prevent damages from occurring? There are existing detection methods such as RF-based detections and camera detections. However, some of these detections can be too expensive and hard to deploy. Thus there is a need for cost-effective methods. Hack RF-1 SDRs cost about US$300 each, it has an operating frequency of 1 MHz to 6 GHz. This cheap SDR makes it suitable for use in cost-effective drone detections. In this project, a bi-static radar operating on the 5G network cellular spectrum is developed to perform drone detection with the aid of machine learning. Bi-static radars are radars that have the transmitter and receiver antennas located apart. This allows the radar to pick RF signals that are reflected off drones in different directions. By increasing the detection of backscattering signals, the bi-static radar is less likely to miss an object. This project develops a bi-static radar that employs an additional RSSI receiver. This RSSI receiver captures the RSSI values of the drones in the environment. To add additional novelty, the use of ML model K nearest neighbor or KNN for short, is employed to make real-time predictions of the locality of the drone. This project uses 3 hack RF-1 to create this radar system. The radar is deployed in a 2x2 grid of 2 meters in length. The transmitter and receiver are placed apart to create the bi-static radar. When there are no drones, the radar detects the line of sight or LOS transmissions from the TX to the RX. And in the presence of a drone, there will be non-line of sight or NLOS transmission received as the drone reflects the LOS transmissions to the RX. The presence of a drone causes a spike in RSSI values as it emits a strong RF signal to communicate with the ground controller. GNU Radio Companion was used to develop this program. With the aid of block diagrams, it configured the hack RF to perform transmitting, receiving and analyzing to detect the presence of the drone. The radar system was deployed in an indoor environment. This is to determine how well the radar system will perform in a Wi-Fi crowded environment. Since it is indoors, there will be more multi-path effects on RF signals affecting the radar. The radar system was deployed in an outdoor environment. The outdoor environment allows the radar to better identify the presence of a drone with minimal effects from multi-path fading. From the experiments conducted, the radar was able to detect the LOS and NLOS transmissions and RSSI values from the drones. Machine learning algorithm was used to identify patterns made in data to locate the box which contains the drone. ML algorithm KNN was used to train the ML model. Each box has its signatures of NLOS transmission timings and RSSI values that the ML uses to classify the drone into a box. By using Euclidean distance between the test data point and the training data point the ML classifies the prediction. The ML first classifies between the LOS and NLOS transmissions. If it is a NLOS transmission, it classifies the drone into a box using the NLOS and RSSI features individually and then combined. By using this three-phase classification, the performance of the ML can be better assessed. From the experiments conducted, the results have shown that the ML is able to detect the presence of a drone using LOS and NLOS transmissions and to predict the locations of the drone in both environments using the NLOS and RSSI values. This proves that the radar coupled with ML is able to detect and identify the location of a drone. However, for this system to be deployable at airports or in the public, improvements to the system needs to be made to improve the accuracy of the ML model to accurately inform users of the location of the drone.